Now I want to create a scene uh, which will contain the objects that I want to animate. So let me move a little bit closer to, to this and just update my view. Make it easier for me to select objects. So the first thing is that under the uh, animator tab, let me pin it open. Make this a bit easier to see. So I use the pin to keep it open. Um, I want to use this button to create a scene. So if I click on it here, I can say add scene. I'm going to right click or, or just click slowly in here and rename it as pivoting window. And then with, with the scene name selected, drag this out so you can see, with the scene name selected, and if I click Add Scene again, I would get some additional options on, you know, what I want to do, put cameras in, all of that stuff. First of all, uh, I, want to, I want to add objects to this scene that I'll use to animate. So really, the, I want, there's a number of ways I can do it, but I'm going to do it with a selection set. I just want to show that if I, if I pick on the window, um, I will see in the selection tree what it is that I've selected, uh, so I can, but I, so, but I can also pick in the selection tree to, to select objects. So I'm picking with the control key held down those two objects, and this is what I'm about to animate. So let me uh, pin that as well, just in case it's not clear. But that would help me make my selection of what I want to animate. Now, when I come down here and say Add Scene, you see that I can say Add the Animation Set from the current selection. And there's many other ways I can do it, but that's this is the first way I want to show. When I click on that, it creates the grouping of these objects, and I'm going to rename that and call it uh, uh, Window. Four feet, just so I know which one it is. There's these four foot square windows. And uh, I'm ready now to start to create the animation. Now, what I can do is there are a number of operations, like I can move it, translate, I can rotate it, I can scale it, I can change its uh, color, I can change its transparency, all of these good things. but. What I need to do is kind of position uh, a key point and then save a frame for the positions of the objects that I want to have. So what I want to do first of all is I'm going to turn on the uh, rotate set and uh, I want to move that up. I could do this manually uh, by clicking on this. I'm trying to find like a hinge point for the top of my my, my window, I can kind of eyeball it like that, or if I wanted to, I could look at the heights here. If I knew the measured the distance, I could have used an exact height. But I'm thinking that's probably good where it is. What I want to do now is say, let's save that position. So I'm capturing the keyframe. And if I look on my, hard to see, let me drag this up so you can see it. It put in a, a diamond shape on the timeline and that's it remembered for those objects at zero seconds into the animation the window is closed i can either drag on here to change the time or i can key in a value here and i can change these anytime so it really doesn't matter what i put in but i'm going to say after 10 seconds what i want to have is a window that is uh, pivoted open. So um, I'm going to turn this off for a second. I've done something a little strange. What is it? Let's pick my, my window. Go to rotate. 
from my window so it's open. And then click on capture keyframe. So let me go, these are like players for the animation. Let me just go to the beginning, go back to the beginning. And I should see the this update in my, in my view. Now if I play it forward, it should look like the window is opening. And um, I want to make sure that I've, I switch off this because I don't want the actual uh, gizmo for the rotation to show in the, in the window. Plus, I might also say uh, select none so that I can see the animation without uh, objects being selected. So now it's just showing the window open. And when I'm sure that it's ready, then I'm, I'm, I need to create a... Uh, what other products refer to as a trigger and a behavior, but the way Navisworks refers to it is an event and a script.